In the first part of lab three, we want to visualize the uh, contents of a full byte from our microcontroller here. On the ATmega 328, we have two full 8 bit ports. One is port D, which is on this side of the chip, and the other one is port B, which starts at the lowest pin on this side here wraps around and then we have the last two again on this side here and uh, what i'm going to do now is i connect up the microcontroller as we did in the lab before i already have short wires here for the supply voltage and then i will connect a byte um, we could use eight individual leds but i have actually these modules here which not only contain eight leds but also common or not so common but yeah mounted resistors for the leds so we don't have to use extra resistors we just can connect common which is ground in our case here and then we connect each of these leds to a port pin so let's connect this to port b and then we will also connect the programmer so let's first start with the programmer we need four wires for that. We need the reset wire, which goes to pin number one on the microcontroller. Then we need SCK, which is the next one here on the header, goes to this pin. Then we have MISO, which goes, and this one is broken. So I'll grab another one. Um, so we have MISO, which goes here. And we take another orange wire, which goes from MOSI to this pin over here. I'll connect the USB programmer to it. And I'll quickly check with ABR Dudes whether or not I connected everything correctly. And yes, it tells me I have an 80 mega 328 on the board here. So I connected everything correctly. So let's continue and wire up the LEDs. I put them here and they are labeled D1 to D8, but I will place them as binary numbers so that these this one here is the lowest digit or bit the zero bit one two three four until bit seven so bit zero of put b is down here then we have bit one at the next position we have pin two over here we have B3 is the next one over there. You'll have the schematic or the pinout of the chip in the lab instructions. So you don't have to exactly see what I'm doing here now, just to show you how it should look in principle. Then we go around here and here. And now we connect the last one here to ground. And we actually see that there's some code running already in the microcontroller. It's the B0 blink code from the last lab. So our LED is blinking back here. We can have a closer look and you see how it's connected and the lowest LED is blinking there. What we can also see is when I now try to program or just to detect the chip, we would see activity on some of the other LEDs because as you can see, they are connected to the pins where the programmer is also connected to. So let's have a look um, what happens if I do a detect. And there was some short activity on some LED over there. And yeah, that's it.